Hi guys, I'm going back and I'm going to be reading Winnie and Wilbur. Let's start. Wally, Thomas and Corky Boy. Winnie the witch lived in a black house in a forest. The house was black on the inside and black on the inside. The carpets were black, the chairs were black, the bed was black and it had black sheets and black blankets. Even the bath was black. Winnie lived in her black house with her cat Wilbur, who was black too. And that's how the trouble began. When Wilbur sat in a chair with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. She could see his eyes anyways, but when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see, see him at all. So, she sat on him. When Wilbur sat on the carpet with his eyes open, Winnie could see him. She could see his eyes anyways, but when Wilbur closed his eyes and went to sleep, Winnie couldn't see him, so he tripped over him. One day after a nasty fall, Winnie decided something had to be done. She picked up a magic wand and waved it once, and abracadabra! Wilbur was no longer a black cat. He was bright green. Now, when Wilbur slept on a chair, Winnie could see him. When Wilbur slept on the floor, Winnie could see him. And when and she could see him when he slept on the bed, but Wilbur was not allowed to sleep on the bed. Winnie came hurrying outside and tripped over Wilbur, turned three somersaults and fell into a rose bush. When Wilbur sat outside in the green grass, Winnie couldn't see him, even when his eyes were wide open. This time, Winnie was furious. She picked up her magic wand and waved it five times. Abracadabra! Wilbur had red head, a yellow body, a pink tail, and blue whiskers, and four purple legs. But his eyes were still green. Now Winnie could see Wilbur when he sat in the chair, when he lay on the carpet, when he crawled into a grass, and even when he climbed on top of the tallest tree. Wilbur climbed to the top of the tallest tree to hide. He looked ridiculous and knew it. Even the birds laughed at him. Wil Wilbur was miserable and stayed at the top of the tree all day and all night. Next morning, Wilbur was still in the tree. When he was so worried, she loved Wilbur and hated him to be so miserable. When Will, when he had an idea, she waved her magic wand and abracadabra. Wilbur was black cat once more, digging down from the tree, purring. Then Winnie waved her wand once again and again and again. Abracadabra! Now instead of a black house, she had a yellow house with a red roof and a red door with chairs that were white with a red and white cushion. The carpets was green with pink roses. The bed was blue with pink and white sheets and pink blankets. The bath was green and white. Now, Winnie could see Wilbur no matter where he sits. The end. I hope you like this story and see you next time. Bye.